I'm here for a private guided tour of the palace and learn why so many people are in awe of the place. Okay, well, before I answer, I'm going to explain to you the meanings of the each architecture behind us in this rear garden. Uh, the rectangular shaped pond represents the earth, the circular round shaped structure in the middle of the pond represent, represent the sky, and the pavilion stand next to us represent the human. So, do you see the harmonization of the human, the earth, and the sky? Well, this is exactly the reason why people fall in love with this garden. All the architectures in Changdeok Palace has a special meaning and it was built to accentuate the natural beauty by keeping, uh, the land, uh, keeping artificial landscaping uh, uh, to a minimum. So let's take a look in depth to learn more about the charm of the Changdeok Palace. Changdeok Palace is Korea's most traditional palace and is in harmony with the nature that surrounds it. Its elaborate details filling every corner of its traditional architecture and its welcoming environment were enough to steal the hearts of kings for many centuries. Changdeok Palace was registered on the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1997, recognized for its integration and harmonization with natural setting. Changdeok Palace was built in 1405 under King Taejong's reign. The palace was originally a secondary structure to the main palace called Gyeongbok Palace, but later became the primary palace as it was favored by the royal families. It served as the residence for many kings over 250 years. The main building of Changdeok Palace is the throne hall in Jeongjeon. The interior of Jeongjeon boasts a high, beautifully adorned ceiling. Major state affairs, including the coronation of a new king and the receiving of foreign envoys, took place here. I think it's really beautiful. It's very colorful and um, I like the, the nature with the trees and the big spaces. I like it. Walking along, one sees Sonjongjeon, where the king handled routine state affairs. This is the only building in Changdeok Palace with a blue tiled roof. Such a roof symbolizes a king's administrative office. A map of palace as it was in the 1800s shows two buildings with blue tiled roofs, but Sonjongjeon is only one that still survives today. Another major building in the palace is the residence of the queen, Daejojeon. Daejojeon allows one to glimpse into the final years of the royal household of the Joseon dynasty. Along with the lighting, curtains and glass windows, the floor was modified to reflect a more Western style in 1908. The bed that the Empress of Joseon used is still preserved in the room. Changdeok Palace cannot be discussed without mentioning its garden called Huan or Rear Garden. Created at the same time Changdeok Palace was built, the vast and beautiful Rear Garden served to deepen the royal family's affection for the palace. The garden was adapted to the topography, accentuating the area's natural by keeping artificial landscaping to a minimum.
네, 저쪽에 보시게 되면 이제 어수문이라고 했습니다. 물과 물고기의 관계를 임금님과 신하의 관계를 비유한 것이라고 볼 수도 있고 또 임금님과 백성의 관계를, 관계라고도 비유를 한 것이라고 볼 수도 있죠. 그래서 뗄래야 뗄수 없는 관계예요. 항상 같이 있어야 되는 존재가 되는 거죠. The rear garden was a relatively open place used as an area of retreat as well as of study. Now it serves as an attraction for many tourists from around the world who are charmed by its beauty. What I find interesting here is that they blend it in with nature. So that's for me something that I learned how to see how they deal with nature here. The house is the architecture and the nature. In another area of the garden, there are many pavilions of various shapes scattered around surrounding ponds. None of the pavilions here looks the same as Kwalamjong sports a unique fan shape. Going deeper into the rear garden, one sees Ongnyeocheon. This secluded rear garden or palace was used by the royal family for a variety of purposes. On the bottom of a large rock, a curving U-shaped channel is carved. On the front side of the big rock, a poem is written. The king and his entourage sometimes held parties here where they composed poetry while sending wine cups afloat on the water. All the colors are just so bright. So, yeah. And there's so much attention to detail. It's nice because it feels more traditional and everything you're experiencing, history that we don't even have in America. 옛날 임금님께서 여기서 이렇게 자연을 감상하시면서 여유 좀 찾으시고 이렇게 쉬셨겠다 싶은 생각이 들어서 너무 아름답고 참 이렇게 돌아볼 수 있게끔 이렇게 꾸며 놓은 것에 감동하고 즐겁습니다 참. Changdeok Palace literally means the palace of prospering virtue. Reflecting the gravity of the name, the palace and its rear garden continue to be loved by people throughout time. I think it's quite fascinating to realize that this place has been preserved for well over 600 years, isn't it? Um, and since it was uh, served as the residence for kings for so many centuries, the palace allows us to see the royal household, royal family's household of Joseon dynasty. And when you think about it, it is amazing how it stands still to this date. Even it was destroyed so many times by fire and by war, including the Japanese invasion. But with the king's love for the palace, it has been restored every time it got damaged, enabling it for, to, uh, for it to stand as a world heritage site today. And with Korea's continuous effort to bring the palace back to its original state that began in 1991, we may be able to see the palace for more centuries down the road. Once again, Nari, it was a pleasure to have you here. Pleasure.